How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology giving you guys your new moon horoscope for Capricorn. Woohoo! Capricorn. New moon's happening October 8th on Monday at about 10 p.m. And this new moon is happening in your 10th house. Good for you. So as we have this new moon in your 10th house where usually this is about, you know, having fresher energy and setting new intentions on your career, uh, you know, kind of like your public vocation, how people kind of know you as... Um, it's really important to look at Venus for this. With this new moon in Libra where you're wanting to set new intentions on how you kind of show yourself or what you're kind of doing for work and just your overall public image, as Venus retrogrades in Scorpio in your 11th house, you may be finding yourself connecting to people that don't really serve you anymore. Venus in Scorpio is kind of like, yeah, you have this, you're, you're, you have a specific, you know, um, desire for friendships. You have a very specific dire, desire for like, you know, intimate and real and raw and passionate, you know, emotions with, you know, friends and connecting to something that's bigger than yourself. But as Venus retrogrades, this is going to be a lot of a big look at where do you place value in the people that you surround yourself with? Where do you really, you know, what's coming up? Because as Venus retrogrades, you're going to see a lot of the good and a lot of the bad with, hey, you know, like these people are, I'm, these people are connecting to me, I like them versus, you know, maybe these people just aren't serving me anymore. These people are bringing up nasty things that I don't like about myself and that I don't like about them. This new moon in Libra is really about giving you guys that opportunity to make a change, to maybe not associate with the people that you have been. Maybe uh, also kind of being more specific about who you do associate yourself with. The Venus retrograde is not done it just began and with this new moon in libra this isn't about knowing what decision to make or who to go to this is about understanding that there's being there you're having changes going on with your public image with your career and what you're kind of doing at the moment and as venus retrogrades this is going to be a big look at if you're going to have these new intentions and have this new fresh energy it really just is about who you're surrounding yourself with and be specific about who you surround yourself with. Are they bringing you value? Are they bringing, you know, are they givers and are you giving to them or are they taking away from you? Are they bringing you down a road that you may not want to go down? Now, this new moon is interesting too because it's trining Mars in the second house. Now, Mars has been in your second house with these eclipses and everything else. And so Mars has been kind of, you know, making maybe money matters kind of, you know, hard financial issues, uh, kind of, you know, maybe you've lost a couple of possessions or whatever it is. As Mars moves forward and is now out of shadow, he's also going to be making an exact square to Venus during this day, um, or actually in the days preceding. But as Mars starts to move forward in your second house, this really is about finding, you may not have the resources that you kind of want in order to have this, you know, in order to have the connections that you want. You may not have the resources that you're really looking for, but this new moon in Libra is giving you guys an opportunity to kind of change that. Have a little bit more balance. Bring something that's having a little bit more fairness to you, but it is going to take a lot of real uh, realizing who you're surrounding yourself with and why that's taking away your energy and where you need to put more of that energy in. Um, you know, Saturn's been in your first house for, you know, a couple months now, almost a year. And as Saturn goes through your first house and it's really doing some work on you guys and it's going through your ascendant or it's going over your sun sign, um, Saturn's really giving you guys the courage and the energy to kind of establish a better sense of ground, establish more limits and have more self-discipline. And I think this is going to be a big thing for you guys because we're, this is a new moon in Libra. Uh, Saturn is exalted in Libra. So this is not only a Venus thing, but a Saturn thing. And you guys have a lot of Saturn energy. You guys are Capricorn risings or your Capricorn sun signs. So as this new moon happens, give yourself the opportunity to really look at um, how, not necessarily how other people view you, but how you put yourself out there in the world and really what you kind of want to change. Where do you want to be more specific about who you associate yourself with and where you're kind of uh, putting all of your time and energy and value into? And really look at, you know, is it is it bringing you money? Is it bringing you the results that you want? Is it making you feel secure in what you have? Because if not, maybe it's time to do something else. So that's what I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and I will be seeing you guys for the full moon in Taurus.